Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. fabulous first grade. I'm so glad you made it back to our classroom so we can practice and wrap up our learning for this week. I'm Mrs. Hammock and I'm here to help you practice and learn all the things you need to be excellent readers and writers. So I'm glad you're here with me today. Do you know Pete the Cat? You do? I love him. Isn't he such a groovy guy? Right? Well this story is called Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Pete has some cupcakes and they keep going missing a few at a time. It's kind of like a mystery that he has to solve. If you enjoy Pete the Cat, you will enjoy this story. Pete the Cat by Kimberly and James Dean. You will want to check this out at your school library. This is from Miss Parker's library at Pyle School. You could check at your library, see if you have it, or from the county public library, and you might even look at Sora and see if they have a digital copy for you to read. I think you'll enjoy it. Pete the cat always makes me smile. So I hope you look for it. I have, that's right, I have activity books that need a home. All you need to do is write to me right here in our PBS classroom. The address is right on your screen. Send me a letter. Tell me something, anything you want. I would love to get a letter from you. And I'll put one of these fun books in the mail to you. Please make sure you send me your address so I know where to send it. Okay? It's totally free. Isn't that cool? So send me a letter, will you? Okay. Awesome. Guess what time it is. That's right. It's time to train our ears for sound because that's what we do. We're training our ears for sound so that we can read and write those sounds when we learn them. All right, Friday means we have two games. So the first game is our segmenting game. That's where we take apart the word one sound at a time and then we count how many phonemes it has. You ready to try it? All right, let's do it. Our first word is choice, choice. All right, are you ready to find out how many phonemes it has? Okay, let's go. Ch, oi, s, ch, oi, s, choice. How many phonemes did you hear? Great, that's right, it has three. How about the word join, join, j, oi, n, join, join. It also has three. Great job. All right, now our second game is the blending game. Remember, at the beginning of the week, we tapped it out on our arm and then blend it together. And or later in the week, we did our word builder. You decide which strategy works for you and use it. So here we go. You ready? I'm going to use my arm. K, oi, n. What's my word? Coin. Great job. All right, I have one last one. Are you ready? Let's see. I'll do the word builder this time. J, oi, joy. How'd you do? Did you get those words? You are amazing. All right, it's time for you to kiss your fabulous brain because it's getting so strong with all those letters and sounds. You are doing hard things, and I'm so proud of you. Now we're going to do our fluency. And then we'll get to our reading chart, okay? All right, let's see if you remember these sound spellings. O-U says ow. O-W says ow. A-Y says a. A-I says a. E-A says, what does it say? That's right, E. E-E -E says E, good for you. I-G-H says I, whoops, let's see if this one says O-E says O, O-A says O, 
I R says er. U R says er. E R says er. A R says R. O R says or. O A R says or. And O R E says or. Okay, some of those were tricky. If you have trouble with any of them, write them down and practice so they get locked into that big, beautiful brain. Okay? All right, it's time for us to look at our focus sound this week. We have our boy card, and the sound that we're focusing on is oi. Oi. Remember, we make an O and then we pull it back to an E. Oi. Right? Good for you. O I says oi. O Y says oi. All right. Now, you can see I don't have any words for you to, for us to practice reading together because I'm going to have you build a word. So I'd like you to build the word spoil. Spoil. What's the first phoneme that you hear? Sp. Sp. Yes, it is our blend. Sp. Sp. All right, now I need the oi sound. Which one will I use? Is the, sp is the sound oi at the end of the word? Spoil. Oh, no, it's not at the end of the word. So we're going to use the O-I. Spoil. What's that last sound? Good for you. L. Terrific. Now we have sp oi ul. Spoil. Terrific. All right, if I want to change spoil to soil, what do I need to do? Right. This is going to go back down here, and now I just need the S all by itself. And now it says soil, soil. What if I want it to say foil? My mom put some foil over the plate. What would I need? Right? Not this. I would need the F. F oil. Do you see how many words we can build once we know the pattern and the spelling pattern? Let's change foil to boil, b, b, right? This part all stays the same. That's right, those are all rhyming words. Soil, foil, boil, good job because they all have this ending piece. And that's how you can spell things correctly when you're writing because if you know the pattern, you'll know how to make a lot of different words. All right, I brought, I made a little chart for you just to kind of remind you of our sounds. O-Y says oi and O-I says oi. And I made a list of the O-Y words and you can see them at the end of the word. Boy, soy, joy, toy, roy, coy. And let's look over here. We have the O-I says oi. Boil, foil, soil, toil, and spoil. Do you see that? Look at all the words you can make if you know this pattern. And all the words with the O-Y that you can spell if you know this pattern. That's why we practice them. So that we can learn to read and write lots of different words with different spelling patterns. Isn't that awesome? Our reading and writing work together to help us be excellent learners. All right, yesterday we read the story about Joy's birdhouse, and when we left the story, Mom and Joy were building their own birdhouse because Joy could not buy one. She didn't have enough coins. So let's see what happens at the end of our story. Are you ready? Okay. Joy had a choice of paints for the birdhouse. She chose green paint. Green would match the tree. She painted it and let it dry. Then Joy pointed to a branch above her head. Mom hoisted up the house. She 
nailed it to the tree so it would not fall down. Joy said, I think birds will enjoy this house we made. Just then, they spotted two birds flying toward the tree. They flew right in. Mom told Joy, you were right. So did the birds enjoy the house? They did. That is so awesome. Did you see any of our sounds in this story? I saw some of our high frequency words too, did you? Good. All right, so we have joy. What else? Choice. Good. Do you see anything else? Oh, I want to show you this. Look at this word here. P painted, painted. And look at how much this one looks like it. But look right there. Pointed. So do you see how we can change a phoneme in a word and completely change the word? That's why we have to learn them and be careful when we're reading. Hoisted. Good. That means she lifted it up. It must have been heavy. Here's Joy's name again and enjoy. All right. Oh, look. What is that word? Oh, it's one of our high frequency words. Very nice. Oh, look. There's another one. Okay. Good job. All right. Real quick, let's take a look at those high frequency words and spell them. Remember, if you're having trouble with any of them, I want you to make sure you write them down. Here we have money, M-O-N-E-Y, money. And we have toward, T-O-W-A-R-D, toward. New, K-N-E-W, new. Fall, F-A-L-L, -L, fall. Build, B-U-I-L-D, build. And above, A-B-O-V-E, above. All right, super fast because we're almost out of time. I just want to remind you about the syllable type that we learned this week. Remember when you see a consonant with an L-E, that is a stable syllable. That means it sticks together and that is part of the syllable. And that will help us when we divide words. And that will help you when you're trying to figure out what the vowel says. So let's do one and then we'll be done. Ready? We're going to split it here because here's our consonant and our L-E. And here we have pud dull puddle. Did you get it? Good job. Wow. You've learned so much this week and you've done such an amazing job. I hope you'll come back next week. We're going to do some reading and writing next week. Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you have a great weekend. Read something great. Read a good book and then write to me and tell me all about it. I can't wait to hear from you. Bye-bye.